lots of reasons why we should focus on power outages. And I would argue comparing that to like a hurricane or something else, it's fairly straightforward of what you need to do to mitigate that. A generator is one thing. I'll give you another one before you might want to jump in is um, if you are dealing with that research side or trying to keep things cold, uh, especially from the emergency management perspective, MOUs, Memorandum of Understandings for Dry Ice, keeping things cold for a really long period of time. So um, what would you suggest to those emergency managers outside of California? You've already started to hit on it, but like, what are some of those planning constraints that you have to think about? And how do you start mitigating um, the threat of a power outage? Okay, so two things. I guess this is more for like city, county, um, city and county emergency managers, but it's a whole community. And a whole community doesn't just refer to uh, the whole community response where it's your private sector and your public sector and your nonprofit. It also is uh, responding to the whole community, including those people who are marginalized, those people who have disabilities, uh, minority and the, the minority uh, demographics in the population. How are you planning for people who um, maybe they're not English speakers? Um, but aside from that, aside from planning for those people, you don't need to be the expert on that either. Often people, emergency managers think, oh, I need to know everything about every demographic. No, you don't. There's organizations out there that do. You need to reach out to them and mm -hmm. find out where they're at um, if you need to include that in your planning. If you don't, um, I would still suggest reaching out to whole community partners uh, to solve issues that you alone cannot solve. So another thing, you're not expected as a county emergency manager or city emergency manager to solve all the issues. You're expected to know the people who can solve the issues. You're expected to coordinate those people and facilitate those meetings to come to come to solutions. So, um, you know, reach out to your local VOAD and reach out to the power company and reach out to find out where the grants are at and, uh, and, and reach out to those. You don't know who could help you. Maybe it's Salvation Army, maybe it's Southern Baptist, maybe it's Red Cross, maybe it's, you know, the Mennonites, LDS, whoever it's going to be. Um, it's going to be a group effort. So you don't need to be the expert. You just need to find the experts and start having those discussions because those people would be happy to have those discussions with you. 